Yeah, when can we go hiking? When I lose 50 pounds. That's 24 more pounds. Alright, promise? Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is my second video and I'm super excited to start getting some content out for you guys. I want to try to post two to three times a week basically to see what you guys um, are responding to as far as topics and um, you know just things that I want to post and I want to see what you guys like versus what you dislike. So today I decided to take you to CrossFit with me. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm waiting to go into class at 5.30. It is currently 5 o'clock and um, I'm eating a protein bar. Usually I try to have something before CrossFit because uh, I try not to snack during the day. So by the time I get to CrossFit, I'm hungry. I'm uh, eating a pure protein bar. This flavor is chocolate peanut butter, 200 calories. Carbs are probably pretty high to what I usually eat, but today I'm making an exception because we have such a heavy lifting day. When we lift a lot, I try to up my carbs that day. So if some of you are watching and you know me and you know that I'm a low carber, this is not always everyday thing, but today it will work. So today we are doing a 20 rep max back squat. Um, my goal to hit is 175 pounds for 20 reps. That's my goal. That's the number I have my eyes set on. We will see what happens. A few weeks ago, I hit 190 pounds for 10 reps. So I think 175 is a pretty good place for me to be at for 20 reps. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys in with me. Hopefully I can get my back squats recorded. I'm pretty sure I will be able to with the help of um, my handy dandy tripod or one of my fellow gym fit friends. So um, I'm gonna put my hair up. I'm going to finish my protein bar, take my pre-workout, and I'm also going to put a headband in because my hair gets wild, guys. I'm like, I always just do a bun and then I always wear a headband. My favorite brand of headbands, so you guys know, is Under Armour. I used to have a really big, thick one that kept everything in, but I left it somewhere where I was at. I think I left it at the gym. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to take my pre-workout. If you are from my Instagram, you guys know that I use Photonomy products religiously. This is my pre-workout. Blackberry lemonade. I am just gonna take a dry, I just take a scoop, dump it, and I chase it with some water. Get asked a lot why I take it dry. There's really no reason other than it's just faster. I don't have to sit there and drink out of my shaker cup. And um, I feel like it hits me faster and a little bit harder than it does if I drink um, it liquid. Uh, feel free to check them out. Code Franny will save you 10%. All right, guys, I'm going to go get this back squat done and then a workout and I'm going to share it with you. Come on, nine. Let's go, Franny. Come on, ten to go, let's go. Come on, Franny. Let's go. One 
Almost there, come on. Let's go. We're on 17, let's go. 18, come on. Let's go. Up. One more, let's go. Get up. I hit my goal, guys. 175. This awesome guy recorded it for me. workout is done guys <sighs> I finished my workout in 12 minutes and 33 seconds we did a 50 cal row 30 clean and jerks at 105 pounds followed by another 50 calorie row I made it that's all that matters <sighs> if you haven't tried CrossFit and you want to I highly suggest it you guys Everything is modifiable. Now I get to go home and eat. I earned my dinner. Okay guys, I'm just getting home from CrossFit. It is actually seven o'clock on the dot. Um, whenever I drive home after CrossFit, I usually like reflect on my workouts. Today I was I mean, I'm happy that I finished my workout. I'm happy that I met my goal for my back squat, but I was still like, for some reason, a little disappointed in my time. I was like trying to figure out why my row was not as fast as it normally is. And then obviously I have to take into consideration that we just did a 20 rep max back squat. So my legs were pretty shot. Um, I'm definitely gonna feel it tomorrow, but I don't know, even coming away from the workout a little disappointed, like I am still so proud of myself and I think that's one thing that CrossFit has done for me. Just being able to prove myself wrong, like literally every single day, you guys. Like, some days I go into CrossFit and I'm like, you're not gonna finish the wad. You're not gonna finish it under the time cap. Um, you know, there's no way you're gonna be able to back squat 175 pounds 20 times. Like, you're not gonna be able to do it. But it's like, even though I set that goal for myself, the 175, and I was like, oh, you got this, you can do it. There's still something like in the back of my brain that is just so negative. And I don't know if that's because I spent so much of my life overweight and never really accomplishing, um, you know, things of this nature, physically, you know, fitness related. I never in a million years thought I would be doing CrossFit, you know, for two years, so. I guess I'm hoping with time the self-doubt goes away. Unfortunately, I have a feeling it's probably not going to because I have to remember that I spent like 20 years of my life in that old mindset of lazy, went home every day and sat on the couch. I had no physical activity in my life for years, decades. And now, you know, I do a complete turnaround, ch change my life. My mindset is still stuck in that negative spot and I'm praying that eventually I snap out of it or every single day I just have to go in to, you know, the day with the mindset that I'm going to accomplish it. I have to remind myself that I'm probably going to doubt myself, but um I just have to persevere and push forward and I have to know that regardless of the little voice in the back of my head that's telling me I can't do something that I know that I can it's like I've lost 130 pounds we all know that that's a very hard thing to accomplish um, because I used to be the person that was like wow I wish I could do that I wish I could be like that girl well now I'm that girl and now it's like I'm living in it and there's still some days that I don't believe in myself and it's insane because how could somebody who's accomplished such a huge milestone not believe in herself? 
you know and that's just real life like there are the days where I really doubt like what I'm doing and if I'm gonna be able to finish the workout you know if I'm gonna be able to make the right food choices that's why it's like every single day I have to recommit to this lifestyle it's not easy nobody's gonna do it for me every day I have to wake up and I have to fight for it every single day I have to recommit to this lifestyle it's not easy nobody's gonna do it for me every day I have to wake up and I have to fight for it